What I would love to see is treatments aimed at the prevention of metastasis because we know that we have very good candidates for that. Why wait for the patient to have metastasis and then treatment if you could have means of preventing that patient from developing metastasis? So in my lab, we try to understand how tissues maintain themselves, regenerate on a daily basis, and how and why, unfortunately, sometimes when things go wrong, that leads to the development of tumors. Once the tissue has developed a tumor, that tumor could either remain in the tissue where it was developed, and this is what we would define, say, when someone is diagnosed with breast cancer or oral cancer or liver cancer. What we pay much more attention is that why in many patients actually, those tumors acquire the ability to spread to other organs, which is the process that is called metastasis. For me, the major finding was, hey, we have identified the cells that are responsible for metastasis. For some reason, they are uh, almost like hooked, addicted on fat. Fortunately, not all types of fat, but unfortunately, types of fat that we consume a lot, mainly in industrialized countries. These fatty acids, they're called uh, saturated fatty acids, and they're normally used in the industry, not so much for the flavor, but more as something that conserves the food. So from a therapeutic perspective, what we are putting a lot of effort is to find therapeutic means to sort of like block block the entry of those fatty acids into the cancer cell. Because we know that if that is done, the uh, metastatic cell just doesn't do well at all. In some tumors, the metastasis is completely gone. Something that you very rarely see. In biology, you're always sort of like more or less, but not all or nothing. In some of the tumors, it really has become an all or nothing.